how to get $100 free digital ocean promotional credit. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link. When used to sign up to DigitalOcean as a new user, you will receive $100 free DigitalOcean promotional credit to utilize within 60 days. You'll therefore save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money. This referral link will be in the video description below. So once you're here, you'll be taken to the DigitalOcean sign up page. At the bottom right hand corner, you can see it says deploy in seconds, sign up with email. So as you can see, you need to put in your first name, an email address and pick a password to create your DigitalOcean account. Once you have done that guys, simply left click on sign up with email and then you'll be taken to the billing page where you'll need to add your billing details using a card or PayPal. Once you've entered in your billing details, your account will be created and credited with the $100 free DigitalOcean promotional credits. You will also need to activate your account by clicking on the link sent to your emails from DigitalOcean. Once you've done that guys, you'll need to sign into DigitalOcean. Once done, you'll be greeted with the following page as soon as you log into DigitalOcean. As you can see at the very top here, it says, you have credits to try DigitalOcean for free. So as you can see, it says, welcome to DigitalOcean. Let's get started. Jump into some of our most popular solutions. So as you can see, you have the option to deploy a web application, host a website or static site, deploy a container-based app, deploy a database, deploy a virtual machine, store static objects, or if you're not ready to deploy anything yet, you can navigate to where it says not ready to jump in yet, explore our control panel. So simply left click on explore our control panel. Once you're in the control panel, at the top right hand corner here, you can see that the $100 promo credit was credited to your DigitalOcean account. So when I hover over $100 promo credit, you can see $100 60 day credit. Your account has $100 of this credit remaining, expires in 58 days. It should say 60 days for you. I signed up a couple of days earlier and therefore it says 58 days. Now, if you want to deploy a server, navigate to where it says projects here on the left hand side. Make sure your project name is selected. Once done, make sure you're in resources and scroll down to where it says explore digital ocean, get started with a droplet. Simply left click on this blue button here. You'll now be taken to the create droplets page. Here you'll need to choose an image for your server. So at the very top, you can choose distributions, container distributions, marketplace and custom images. I'm going to be going with distributions only, which is the basic operating system by itself. So I'm going to be going with Ubuntu and I'm going to be choosing the latest version of Ubuntu at the current recording of this video, which is 21.06 x64. Once selected, I'm just going to scroll down here. Here you have the option to choose a plan. You can go with shared CPU or dedicated CPU. I'm going to go with shared CPU as it's much cheaper. It's already pre-selected by default here. Next, you can select CPU options, regular Intel with SSD, premium Intel with NVMe SSD, or premium AMD with NVMe SSD. I'm going to go with regular Intel with SSD, as again, this is the cheapest. And as you can see, I have a number of options here that I can select from, ranging from $5 to $80. I'm going to go with the cheapest again, and that's the $5 a month, or 0.007 cent an hour, with one gigabyte of memory, one CPU core, 25 gigabyte SSD, and one terabyte of bandwidth. Once you've chosen your plan, Continue scrolling down here where you have the option to add block storage if that's something you want. And underneath add block storage, you have the option to choose a data center for your server. So for me, guys, I'm going to be going with a server in London here. So I'm just going to left click on London. You can choose whatever data center location you want your server to be in and then continue scrolling down here. If you have the option to configure VPC network. I'm going to leave that as it is. Select additional options. IPv6, user data and monitoring. You can check mark any of these if you want. Continue scrolling down here. You have the option to authenticate with SSH keys or password. I'm going to leave it as password. Next, we'll need to create a root password. So I'm just going to create one real quickly here. All right, once you've created your root password, continue scrolling down. As you can see here, it says finalize and create how many droplets. So you have the option to deploy more than one droplet. A droplet just means a server. So I'm going to go with one droplet. You have the option here to choose a host name for your specific droplet or server. So I'm just going to delete what's set here by default. And I'm just going to enter my YouTube name 
and then test, and then server. Your hostname can only contain alphanumeric characters, dashes, and periods, so make sure you don't include any spaces. Adding tags is optional. Underneath add tags, you have the option to select a project. So if you have multiple projects here at the top left-hand corner, you can select from them. Of course, for me, guys, I only have one project, and that is web splaining, so that's selected by default. And lastly, you have the option to add backups, which is currently not enabled, and I'm going to leave it uncheckmarked. You can always backup your server by yourself. Once you've configured your server, guys, all that's left to do is to create your droplet by simply left-clicking on the green button here at the very bottom. And there we go, guys. DigitalOcean is now creating your custom droplet with the specifications that you have selected. I'll be back with you once this blue progress bar has completed. As you can see, guys, the droplet has now been deployed. So as you can see, this is the name of my server here, and this is the IP address of my server. To get further details, simply left click on your droplet. So just left click here, and you should get further details about your droplet, such as the operating system here, the size and specifications of your plan, the region of your plan, the IPv4, IPv6 address, private IP, and VPC. At the top right hand corner of your droplet, you also have the option to add a domain name, access console, resize your droplet, view usage, enable backups, add tags, and destroy your server. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to get $100 free digital ocean promotional credit. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.